me go. Hold on, man. I can't hold on, man. What up, fellas? What up, fellas? It's your man in the building yet again, back to give you all of that positive energy that you know you be needing in a world, bro, that's crumbling around us, bro. Right before our very eyes, bro, we are witnessing, okay, the destruction, the downfall. OK, of the things that we knew inevitably was going to happen. I told you guys it was all about raising your vibration, bro. Keeping your frequency high, bro. Stop giving your energy to things that are not benefiting your life and your growth, bro. This is the distractions of the matrix, and this is what all of y'all have been programmed to do. And now what you're seeing is yet again some more programming, but at the same time, it shows you once again, we're in those times that I told you about four years ago that were going to come to pass, and we're seeing it, and this is why it's more important than ever bro to retain your seed get the favor from the most high fellas i'm trying to tell you this is a get out of jail free card because this world bro is crumbling around us and the only way you're going to survive the only way that you're going to make it in a world like to this bro is to have the most highest hand upon you on your walk OK, I'm telling you, bro, you will not be hurt. But if you're one of these people out here, you're still playing in the dirt. You're in that low vibrational energy. You're still sitting on your couch playing with those smelly balls. You know what I'm talking about. You, my friend, are not going to earn. OK, this exemption card all right of justice of karma that is coming to all the filth and disgusting degeneracy that we have going on on mother earth gaia who is a high spiritual high vibrated ancient being okay and we out here just crapping and fornicating and peeing and throwing garbage and polluting okay a live entity bro that gave us life bro we out here and we forgot where we came from. Only thing we worried about, bro, is how to get our nails done, how to get our hair done, what kind of car we going to get. We don't give a damn that all these cars are burning fuels that are coming from Mother Earth Gaia that are destroying our ecosystem that is in turn that is killing all of the animals and is in turn is is causing us, bro, to have, you know, all of these different things like inflation, because we can't get the proper things anymore because we are wearing out the resources. Instead, bro, of focusing on yourself, going within and being able to have the eyes to see all of this bull crap that is going on around you, you out here stuck in it, making it worse. You out here feeding the system, bro. You don't want this shit to die. You happy with all this crap that's going on. All of this stuff that we come on her and we have to preach, bro. We shouldn't have to because the world shouldn't have to be like that, bro. Other places of the world where it isn't corrupt or nothing like us, bro. And that is a testament to how far we have fallen here. All right. 
See, this whole journey, bro, okay, of this walk of life, man, is you're supposed to dig yourself up out of the gutter, bro, okay, and raise yourself up to an angel with some wings, and you can leave this realm and go meet your creator. That's called raising your vibrations, all right, opening up the gateway, the penile grand, the third eye, bro, with the communication towards the creator. This is how you're able to get the knowledge and the wisdom to come down and smack these fools in the face like Bruce Lee and they can't do shit all right all they can do is hate this is why it's important bro because you could have been this dude up here talking about this right now but instead you sitting at home smoking an L with your hands in your pants about to watch some corn as soon as you get off the video you the ones I'm talking to you the ones that got to understand what seed retention really does to your life bro OK, let me tell y'all a story, because I swear I hear a lot of y'all out there complain about your life like you got it hard. Let me tell y'all something, youngster. Let me tell y'all, youngster, something, bro. This is why you retain your seed. This is why you wait for somebody special to give your energy to, because it, it makes you a complete person. And without it, bro, you have no identity. You are loose as a goose. You were one of these dudes walking around with the pants sagging, with a booty crack sucking, looking like a suspect. That's what you look like when y'all here playing with those balls, fellas. Instead, you need to mask up man you need to get some masculinity about yourself man you need to come out here in the public bro with your chin held high knowing that you are solid as can be bro and watch how the ladies just all of a sudden start just throwing it at you left and right okay and then you understand at that point you know your power you know what it is you got you know what it is that you are cultivating is so special bro and you understand now bro how a man is really supposed to be moving out here okay he's supposed to be moving out here bro way more solid than he is the man has got loose because this fake systems done gave him a fake sense of identity about himself okay through the ego with this paper money that is now out here prostituting our freaking goddesses which is making me upset all right there are so many things going on that your little mind couldn't even fabricate and you out here talking about your life is hard i'm telling you only thing you need to do is retain that seed my life has come so far okay i've come so far you guys i have gone through so much s-h-i-t and i haven't broke one minute as soon as i last time i came off of this and stuff like this happened i fell apart but i'm two years and six months strong bro okay i have no weaknesses when it comes to that because i have not given anything to make myself weak i have made the foundation around me solid as can be bro and now every step that i take bro all right it is thought about okay it is anticipated bro i know where i'm going bro and this is what you need as a youngster you need direction all right and the only way you're gonna get this direction is to get some things in your life called discipline all right and most of y'all don't got it because most of y'all was raised by your mom and there's no disrespect but when you have children bro it's very important that both balance is there because that's what it did to create the being okay at one point they gonna have to learn from the both to be able to go through and navigate this world properly without having any malfunctions okay but for you guys that are still sitting here bro complaining okay about your life bro and you think you got it hard bro and i'm telling you the people who think like that are the people i know who are not retaining their seed bro because that right there bro is being weak that is a weak thought that you have now let into your god mind you are a god tell me one god that you ever have seen and they've showed us in films bro that ever shows a weak trait such as a weak thought bro you are a god you can create anything you want and you let somebody else's opinion bro now come into your manifestation and now comes into your life and now you bringing all this shit that you didn't want there before 
okay you guys gotta understand man when you retain your seed bro your godhood comes online man everything about you starts to click you don't have any more identity problems bro you are a hundred percent authentic okay you now have the best that your dna has to offer bro you are now taking those genetics bro and you are now capitalizing bro off of everything that we have in this society bro to educate you to take you to the highest level bro so you can leave your mark on this world all right let me tell you something semen retention had gave me a reason to live bro okay my life has changed so much okay i went through relationship problems i went through breakup okay i've been through all kind of shit so don't sit here and tell me bro all right you have it worse than that all right i have it i've have had it worse bro than most of you guys all right and i'm sitting up here making and being the example of how to be a strong man and how to move and keep going and focus on the goal because once you get there bro all of the stuff that you learn is now just going to make you a better human being and don't you understand from this point out you're going be creating the best karma bro that you could ever possibly have man you're going to be living a life so fantastic bro you're not worried about being hard you're not worried about money you live in abundance your mind is positive you attract any and everything you want people fucking love you your life is great and this is why all of these haters bro come out here and try to knock you off your path but you got to understand you got to understand you have to understand you have walked a journey that many people bro shy away from many people pull over on the side of a road and never get back on the road to keep driving many of people pull over and get a flat tire and never understand how to fix a flat tire many people don't make it so you now become this person, bro, okay, that everybody is looking up to. You have to set the example. You got to show all of these people out here who think they're men how to be a real man, okay? You are turning the tide, the new revolution of positivity and growth in men. And now men are going to become attractive like once they used to be and desired by women and cherished by women and treated by kings by women okay and everything goes back to perfect balance because now we understand what true manhood is about it's not about tricking off it's not about pumping steroids into your body it's not about being somebody out here who turns himself into a coomer it's about respect it's about peace it's about balance okay it's about understanding, okay? We all have to get back to the same playing field in this game, fellas, okay? And the only way that you are going to do that is to go back to zero point. And when you go back to zero point and you stop all the bullshit, you now become online. And now the universe doesn't open up this big ass door for you to choose your path. It's like a video game, man. You done jumped into one of the portholes and now you got to choose three doors to go through. Which one do you want to go through? Just let you know, bro. All of these are going to be positive. So take your time. This is the type of life that I want everybody to have because I'm sitting here experiencing some stuff so surreal, bro. So crazy, man, that it's so unbelievable to me the way my mind now works the way that i can articulate myself the way that i am able to retain knowledge the way and the respect that i get from the outside world the way that how i'm only thinking positivity the way i have no negativity the way i have forgiven everybody and anybody who's ever done anything to me including myself i am at the level that all you people want to be at and you need to understand, bro, that you can get there. And I'm telling you, you will not need anything else to make you happy. You will stop looking outside yourself. You don't need a relationship. You, need, you want a partner. You guys are not hearing my words and you're not understanding me because you're not on the energy. But one day you will get it. Okay, you'll look back at all the stuff that I left here, bro. And you'll understand that I was telling you the truth. Okay, I am telling you guys. This is the way to go, okay? Semen retention gives you reasons to live. It gives you reasons to strive. It gives you hope, bro, okay? It gives you, 
it gives you that voice that you need to hear, man. Okay. When you're in your lowest moments, man, and you don't have nobody else to have your back. Maybe you sitting there hella broke. Like I done been hella times sitting here, stomach hurting, don't have no motherfucking food to eat, bro. Okay. And I'm sitting there, bro. And I'm meditating, bro. And I'm trying to make it to the next day, bro. So I can get somewhere to get me something to eat, bro. And I'm telling you, bro, I've been in a situation like that in my life, man. Okay. And if I didn't have retention, bro, to sit there and keep me, you know, company because I'm having these conversations with myself. And even though those negative ones tried to come inside here, bro, and tried to distract me, it was too much of the positivity because there was no negative things that I was doing that was in my lower frequency. So even though I heard those negative voices, they couldn't get to a certain level with me. Okay. And I was able to silence them. And next thing you know, my life com changed completely around. Okay. I started meeting new people. I started, I got new jobs. I started meeting new friends. Okay. And my life hasn't been the same since. Okay. So I'm telling you guys, when I tell you that this gives you a reason to live, I promise you it does. Okay. I, it gives me such a reason to live. Like I don't care you know, what I show the world that I like. If somebody doesn't like something that I like, I, it, it, I don't care. I'm not here to, you know, make you happy or try to impress you. Okay. I'm, I'm supposed to be like, because of what I like and how, you know, of a, a big of an individual that I am. Okay. And how unique that I am. Okay. That's, that's our traits. That's our gifts. But instead they created this, you know, this sus movement where everybody's got to validate each other by doing the same things and looking like retards. Okay. I'm not on that level no more. I'm way above you guys. I've earned my, my angel wings. You guys can say it's cap all you want. I'm sitting over all top of you and I'm telling you, okay, this is how you do it. And I, I want all of you to get to graduation day, bro. You need to do this for yourself, man. Some of you guys think you're, it's cool just sitting there and you just have no motivation because you got, you, you think you got a, a girl sitting there in front of you, bro. There's girls all over the place. And for the simple fact that you as a man had not reached to the final level of your life, you have not achieved all the things that you want to achieve in your life. You've not become that man that you know that you all want to be deep down inside, which is a superhero, which all of us men can sit here and say that at one point in our life, we wanted to be some kind of superhero. Don't cap. Okay. But and yet and still, you just done giving up. Okay. I don't give up. Okay. I use my imagination. I use my manifestation powers, bro. Okay. And I bring that into reality. Okay. I, my, my, my voice is powerful. The words that I say create, they have a, a strong resonance to them, bro. They have a frequency and, and a harmony to them, bro. Okay. And because of that, man, the things that I say, bro, and it goes out to the universe and it comes back. And I'm just telling y'all, man, this is what I want y'all to do. I want y'all to really, really give this a serious try, bro, because I'm telling you, man, I'm telling you, I, it was a reason why I got chose for this. <laughs> it's a reason why the most high said, I'm choosing that guy right there. <laughs> I'm choosing that guy right there because he said it. he sat there and had a conversation with me one night and said that he was ready to give up. He was sitting on the bathroom floor. Okay. You know, just having blood come all out of him because he couldn't eat food because his, his stomach couldn't digest any food because he had a, a, a anti or a inflammatory bowel disease, you know, in his intestines at that point. And he almost gave up, bro. He sat on that floor and almost withered away. And he had a conversation with, with the most high bro. And the most high came to me that next day. I kid you not. I swear on my life. Most high could take me out right now. If I'm capping the most high came to me the next day with a diet called veganism, bro. I went down and I started checking out veganism, bro. And I started eating veganism, bro. And let, let me tell you guys something, man. I, I had something that they told me that was in key in, in healable. Okay. I can't even say the word cause YouTube's going to block the video. It's, it was in healable, bro. Okay. And I ended up, okay. Rectifying that situation. Okay. I end up putting that so-called unhealable thing into remission. Okay. All by my diet. And then right after I got on veganism, I found about semen retention. And from there on out, bro, I have created the most 
ultimate avatar. I'm light. I'm lightweight. Okay. Carbon fiber. I'm light. I don't have all these, you know, extra added parts just to make my car look cool. I'm very light. I'm very efficient. Okay. Um, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm very strong. Okay. So I'm lightweight, very strong. What are you going to use in combat fellas? Something that's lightweight and strong or something that's big and heavy and slow. So I'm just trying to tell y'all, okay, you can do what you want to do at the end of the day. Okay. But understand, man, your body is going to work better when you have the proper fuel in your body. And when you're retaining your seed, bro, and you're putting all these good nutrients into your body, bro, this is when you activate Goku. Okay. Goku comes to life, bro. And next thing you know, from this point out, bro, you're just leveling up. Okay. Each month, each year. Okay. On retention, bro. Until you get to the highest form. And that's what you're seeing. Okay. That's what you're seeing. You get better and better and better as you go. And that's why every time I come out here, you guys hear me talk, you see it. I get better and better and better as I go. And the more energy that I get from the haters, the better I get. It's the way it works, bro. Okay. I'm a, they've turned me into a monster. This is what you do when you chuck rocks. Okay. At a house all day. And you don't think that rock has a conscience one day that rock's going to say it's enough, bro. Okay. Oh, that house is going to say it's enough, bro. And it's going to start, uh, you know, fighting back. And this is what I've done. Okay. I have now absorbed things that try to ruin my foundation, bro. And I transmute them into positive energy, bro. And it literally lights a fire in my ass. And I could come up here and give you straight passion. Okay. From the heart. Okay. And that right there, bro, does not have a value on it. I'm not up here with no script. I'm up here telling you the real life of a retainer and how glorious it could be for you. So stop playing with me. I'm going to read some of these comments and I'm about to get out of here, guys. Jim, what's happening with you? My man, Jim in the building. What's happening with you, Jim, bro? Bonafide goods in the building. What's good with you? Vel plays in the building. What's good with you, my G? He said you rapping by accident and speaking facts, bro. You know what I have noticed? Let me tell you something, man. I'm glad you said that. Let me tell you something. I have been one of these guys who always struggled at writing raps. I have so many friends that can that write raps around me. Like for years, they've been trying to help me write raps. I could never for my life write a rap. Now I can come up here on a mic, bro. Okay. And I can basically freestyle. Okay. For hours on end. And for that, you know, it shows you the difference into what the most high has ordered for your life. Okay. Cause I could never do it. And now those guys that can rap can't do what I can do. Do you see the difference? The gifts that we all have as people. This is why you guys got to tap into your, you know, your strengths. This is why you got to tap into your gifts, bro. And I'm telling you retention, bro. It just magnifies those gifts, bro. Okay. And you're able to really create, bro. Okay. From a real focused in standpoint, man. And I'm telling you the control that you wield over your weapons in your life, bro, are amazing. Truth and broadcasting station. What's happening with you, bro? He says, exactly. That's why I don't, but having her over and resisting her constant passes at me, making me very strong. That's the way it works, bro. That's the what that's what you have to ultimately do, bro. Because at the end of the day, you got to understand since, you know, the divine feminine is not on her mission right now, because if they were, you know, how hard it would be to actually get some, you know, some, some box, some real box. If, if women were to honestly stop and, and raise their vibration and raise their frequency and become their higher selves. Do you realize how hard it would be for guys to be out here? I don't care how much money you got, how hard it would be, bro, to get some nookie. Do you understand that? Okay. But the retainer, the guy that's on her level, the guy that can stimulate her mentally. Okay. Because he's not in no rush. He's, he's ready to serenade her for months. Okay. He's ready to, you know, you know, talk to her however she wants in her ear for, for months, for years, if he has to, he's not in no rush because he knows one thing. He has an end goal and he's patient because he's walked this journey. 
he learned discipline. Okay. And at some point or another, she will end up cracking for him. If you end up, you know, being a straight up hard masculine man. Okay. This is the situation that will unfold for you. Okay. But if you a cave in, Hey, you know, you just might as well put a timer on that relationship. Okay. Because that's the way it works. Okay. I've, I've been in and out of them fellas. And I'm telling you, this is the way it works. But I'm going to tell you this right now, <laughs> where I'm at right now, all those other people that have been with and to where I'm going, there's no way in hell I would go back and take the same traits that I've been, you know, but with any of the women that I've been with in the past. Okay. Cause I am not going back to that. I know what it is that I want. I know what it is that I want to, you know, be my partner, if you will. Okay. And my partner is going to be on an understanding level as me. She, she's not, she's not going to be doing things, you know, to disrupt my energy. Okay. And she's going to understand that I practice retention and she's not going to be someone that's going to always be trying to provoke me. And for that respect, bro, I would probably deal with the opposite sex. But until then, bro, until I've got to actually where it is and I'm, I'm going to, bro, there's not no one going to be getting any of this energy, bro. Okay. They can try. And believe me, I'm definitely hanging out with girls and being close and touching women. Don't think I'm not doing that, but I'm not giving into it. <laughs> I'm not giving into it, guys. And I have the control and I love it because now it's showing me my value because now they actually want something so bad and they see that I have a strong demeanor about myself and I carry myself in a certain way and the respect just unfolds 10 times. So you can choose to do whatever it is that you want to do in your relationships and who it is that you deal with. But I'm telling you everywhere around the board, bro, there's nothing better than retention, man. All right. To help you make the decisions and choices that you need in your life. D, what's good, man? He said, let's go, hey, man. We already go. We go every single time we come on here. That's just, this is just what we do over here in the Lion's Den. People know this, man. People been people been in the Lion's Den for years. They can tell you how I talk when I talk when I get on, man. So it's good to see you, brother. Aqua Incel, what's happening with your big dog? How you doing, man? I'm glad. He said, I'm hyped, bro. L listen, this is what we do, bro. We have to do this. Who else is going to do it, man? Who else is going to do it? Okay. I know there's other people out there doing it, bro. Don't get, don't get it twisted. Okay. Don't get it twisted. But we're talking about, this is the big boys club over here. Okay. This is the big boys club. Okay. Remember I told you there's levels to retention. Hey, do your thing at all levels. There's no hate ever going to come to me from me, but you got, but you got to understand there's levels to this. This is the big boy league over here. Okay. We talk about things that we're not reading in books. I don't read books and come on here and regurgitate. I tell you things that come straight off of my dome, bro. Okay. From the experiences and the knowledge and wisdom that I accumulate on my walk. Jim, what's happening with your bro? He says, Les, it's made it made you strong, Truth and Broadcasting Station. Tell him. Tell him. It does, bro. I'm telling you, man. It makes you unstoppable. I told you guys this. You guys think I'm kidding, man. <laughs> I don't see how you can't hear it in my voice, see it in my aura. Okay. You I can't fake anything, bro. Okay. Come come be around me if you know me. If you haven't seen me in a long time, and you told me if something ain't changed. Bonafide meat, uh, good says I eat meat since men. We are designed to be hunters. Yes, that's that's partially true. Bonafide goods, but I don't know, you know what what uh hue hue you are. But no, man, for guys that are darker, bro, uh, that's not a good diet, man. Okay, it, it's just not because of the, of the small little thing called hydrochloric acid. Okay, which. We, for some reason, don't have a whole lot of it. So what does that mean? That means that that meat does not break down in our bodies, okay? And when the meat doesn't break down in your body, it causes constipation. And then when that constipation happens, you get built backed up and now it starts backing up in your colon. Then it starts backing up in your intestines. And now you don't got a parasite, you know, party happening all in your body. Okay. And this is when you get sick because then they start releasing these irises. You know, I can't even say the word, but you know what I'm talking about. They start releasing these irises, bro. And these irises ultimately end up causing you disease. Okay. And your demise. All right. So no, some genetics are probably more, you know, 
able to digest meat, which I don't believe everybody should be eating meat, but that's another thing. Like I said, I'm only speaking for myself and the research I've done over the last 11, 12 years and all the stuff that I've gone through from trying all the diets. No, it does not work for, you know, the man of a darker hue. Okay. Now I've seen it work for many other men that were lighter. And like I said, that's not my, that's not my territory to be studying. Okay. I'm only studying my genetics and what is, you know, beneficial for me and what's been beneficial for me and all the people in the past, including all the people that I look up to and all the mentors who have left this realm. And it's always been a plant-based diet. Eggs are fine, bro. Eggs are fine. Eggs are fine. Okay. Just don't eat a whole lot of them. Eggs are fine, bro. All right, but you got to understand. Here's what I want you to understand. Eggs, when I say eggs are fine, I, I say eggs are fine. I didn't say they're good. <laughs> There's a big difference. I said eggs are fine. But you got to understand, everything that you eat just doesn't come out of your body. Your body's not a squeaky piece of glass. Do you know, do you know why they call glass the cleanest substance? Because you can literally run some water over it, okay? And you can literally clean it clean. Okay, you can clean anything off the surface. Now, for you, by the other hand, all of these chemicals, <laughs> all of these molds, okay, all of these things that you, you know, take in daily through your nostrils, you know, that don't catch everything, you know, that everything that you breathe in through your mouth, okay, all the stuff that touches your skin, all this stuff enters your body, bro. And if you don't know how to expel that, detox from that, okay, it really doesn't matter at the end of the day, rich you really eat. Okay. So if you're going to be eating eggs, same thing, you, you're going to think that all that stuff's going to come out of your body, which is not, and it's going to end up causing some kind of backup somewhere, somewhere. And that's why you should always be detoxing. So if you detox and you fast correctly, bro, honestly, I'm not trying to give you a pass here. You can pretty much eat whatever you want to eat. Okay. I'm not going to try and tell you there's not going to be no repercussions, but you're not going to be susceptible and you're not going to fall into obesity mode and you're not going to fall into weight problems. You might not fall into, you know, being sick more often because, you know, you're not overdoing it and you're cleaning out your body. The, the key to your body is putting good fuel in it and cleaning it out. If you want it to run at its highest efficiency, then that's what you got to do. So like I said, the best thing that's easiest on the system is fruits. The next thing that's easiest on the system is vegetables and so on and so forth. So if you're burning something to get the best efficiency out of it, you're going to burn the best fuel and that's the best fuel. So it's not even an argument. Okay. It's, 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 you know, some people have to have that in their diet. And we're one of those people. If we want to be, uh, you know, on our highest, you know, knowledge tip, our highest wisdom tip, our highest vibration, then this is what we're going to have to eat. Yeah, it's the truth, bro. Truth and Broadcasting Station. I'm not telling you, listen, you, you've never heard me come up here and cuss nobody out. You never heard me come up here and get mad at what, you know, what people eat. This is what I just want to inform you on. Okay. I love you all and I'm not going to treat you any differently. Okay. But you're eating meat. You got parasites, point blank period. And most of you have never done a serious parasite cleanse. Okay. That's the first thing that I want to tell you. There's no arguing around it. There's no, I'm going to hide. And this, he, what he's saying is not true. No, all you're doing is wasting time. Okay. All you're doing is losing life. Okay. Every day that you let those parasites run loose in your body and you're not cleaning them out. Okay. Because they're taking energy from you, which is why you eat more. Okay. They're robbing you from your energy. They're taking all your nutrients, which is why you come deficient a lot of the times. Okay. And then they're backing up your colon and they're backing up your intestines. Okay. Because you're constipated. Most of you people don't even go to the bathroom. Let me tell you guys something. I eat fruits and vegetables and let me tell you something. I don't have to force myself to go to the bathroom. I get up as soon as I get up in the morning, it's already ready to go. 
Okay. But every single time that I used to eat back in the day, I used to eat all these bad diets. I used to eat all these protein shakes. I used to eat all this crap, bro. All right. It would have, you, you would have constipation. You, you would, you wouldn't crap until three o'clock in the afternoon. Sometimes you wouldn't even crap at all. And you have to force it. Don't lie to yourself. And if you people are lying to yourself, you're one of these people. If you're not eliminating, like I told you, bro, then you're just, you're on your way to a disease. I'm telling you, I've already been through 11 years of studying health. You can trust me. Okay. I'm telling you what you're going to go through. All right. So the, the key is just to make sure that if you're going to eat that, that you have to understand how to detox your body. And if you don't know how to do that, then you shouldn't be doing it. Doesn't that make sense? Why are you going to do something that you know is going to hurt you, but you don't know how to fix it if it hurts you? That's not very logical. Okay. So as long as you understand what it is that you're doing, bro, you shouldn't have no problem. Okay. But it, at the end of the day, I'm not going to tell you, you're not going to get no repercussions. I've met plenty of guys. Let me just give you two more quick examples. I've met plenty of guys. I told you I meet people every single day. I meet hundreds of people, bro. Within months, I meet hundreds of new people every month. Okay. I don't see the same people. These, I met this one guy. He was swole as fuck. Okay. I met this one guy. He was swole as fuck. I cut his hair. I asked him, I said, yo, bro. I said, what do you do? Are you a bodybuilder? I go, what do you do, bro? And he's like, yeah, I'm an ex bodybuilder. I was like, an ex bodybuilder, you look swole. Like, he goes, no, I still lift weights, but he's like, I have to change my whole diet now since I can't eat red meat no more. And I said, well, why can't you eat red meat no more? He said, because it gives you diabetes. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I'm in the lab, bro. But he's serious, bro, because it really does. This guy, all he ate was red meat. All he ate was red meat. He was on the carnivore diet. I told you I did the carnivore diet too, and I started feeling some kind of way, and I stopped eating it. He was on the carnivore diet, bro, okay? And dude got diabetes, okay, from red meat. And I did my research on it, and it can cause diabetes. So I'm not even going to get no arguments with you. You argue with the wall. I don't care. So here's the point. You have to continue, like I said, to keep your body clean. That's what it's all about. And you got to learn how to eat in moderation. And you got to understand that everything that they feed us in the outside world is meant to take you down. You would do better by having your own farm, having your own meat, having your own potatoes, having your own ingredients than going out and eating anything out in the public eye. Everything out there, unless it's 100% vegan, 100%, you know, no GMO, 100%, no chemicals, you know, place that advertises that, you're eating stuff that is just making you sick and taking away your life. It's the way it, it's the way it works, okay? And, and that for that reason, you're going to end up in their system. And this is why they force medical on you. <laughs> because now you're a lifelong customer. All right. And then they're going to bullshit you your whole way through your blood work and all these different works your whole way and tell you that you're healthy all the time when you know you're not fucking healthy. All right. And then once you've hit a, a mark where you cannot, you know, heal or fix yourself anymore, they hand you some pharmaceuticals. So I'm telling you, I've seen it. I've seen it in my life personally. And I also seen it, you know, in plenty of family members that I've lost. Okay, I've seen it. I'm here for a reason to tell you guys what it is. If you choose to go the other route, that's your choice. But don't ever say someone didn't come up here and tell you what it is, okay? Because that's what it is, okay? You should be eating the lightest diet possible, guys, point blank, period. Sexual Life Force Energy says the story you told the other day about lifting that guy up over your head was insane. It was funny, wasn't it, bro? <laughs> because it's the truth, man. It's the truth, bro. I have no reason to make it up, bro. It was it was absolutely hilarious, bro. And that was like the, like I said to this date, that's the best retention story I've had, surpassing all the woman attraction, surpassing you know all the free things. Well, no, I can't say free things. I say free things is on the top of the list. Speaking of that, let me tell you guys something real quick before I get out of here. I've been getting a lot of free stuff on retention, you guys. Okay, I just want to tell you guys this, man, so you guys can understand on how much free stuff that I've been getting. Okay. I got probably, let me know. I'm not going to say problem. I'm going to add up the exact number. Okay. So I got, let's see here. 
$1,700 in free stuff in the last two and a half weeks. In the last two and a half weeks, I got $1,700 in free stuff, bro. I kid you not, in free stuff. And I've already sold uh, one of the things I told you, okay? And the other one, the other things that I got, bro, I'm selling one probably tomorrow, and the other one I'm keeping. So this is just the thing, bro, okay? When you, when you are a good person, when you're out here walking the journey in your highest purpose, you got to understand the creator made this matrix hard as possible for you to earn your way to heaven. Ain't nobody just going to get into heaven. It's like, it's like the dress code at the door. Okay. If you don't know the dress code, you ain't getting in here because the only way you're going to get in, you're going to have to know the person who runs the inside. All right. Who's able to tell you in person what the dress code is. And if you don't got that happening for yourself, bro, then guess what, man, you're not getting in. All right. This is why you need to take this shit seriously. You need to understand, man, that this ain't a game. All right. All roads point to retention. So get used to it. You guys have a good rest of the night, man. And don't forget, bro, hit this like button because of what YouTube's doing, man. They're like I said, they're age restricting my videos, which is crap, bro, because that cuts my videos in half. That means it's not going to reach half the people. So you guys have a good rest of the night. I will talk to you guys on the next one. You guys stay safe, man. Peace, fellas. I will not stage. Come even if I must sacrifice my life.